Hi, this is Jesse Stay with Hashtag Geek Ring. So today, I've got a cool little uh, set here uh, that I got off of Amazon. I'll post the link down in the description below. Um, we are going to tap my sugar maple tree. Um, here I've got uh, a couple lines here uh, that I can run and, uh, and uh, they go into a little bucket if I want them to. Uh, and then I've got, uh, I'll pull them out here. Um, got my taps right here. And these uh, will go into the tree over here, and uh, and hook up the line. They'll go into here, and that'll go down into a bucket. You can do a gallon bucket like this. You can do a big five-gallon bucket if you want. Well, I've, I've never done this before, so we'll see. Um, we'll see how quickly it, it taps. Now, on this tree, um, the way you can tell it's a sugar maple is from the bark. Um, and there are some books that will show you here. Uh, the kind of flaky bark is the classic sign of a sugar maple, and you can tell by the leaves too in the in the summer. Um, but uh, and I've got three branches here. You want it to be you want it to be at least 12 inches in diameter, and you can do one tap with one with uh, 12 inches. So if I go around here, um, you can see here I'm actually a total of. I'm actually a total of 23 inches. Um, if it's at least 18 inches, you can do more than one tap. But what I'm going to do in this tree, because it's one tree, one tree with three big branches going out of the bottom, I'm going to do one tap in each of the branches. Um, I think I'll be fine with that. Um, but just so you know, and this is a nice, mature, good, good tree. You want to make sure it's mature, otherwise you'll damage the tree, and you won't get much sap. Uh, the other thing that pay attention to is in um, it should be at least uh, should get down to the 20s at night and 40s during the day I'd argue I mean we're in February right now it's supposed to be even colder than that right now it's actually a little warmer so I'd argue that it's actually not uh, uh, it's actually a little warm here but I'm I'm banking on it getting cold again so I think we'll be fine doing it right now but anyway uh, let me show you I'll show you uh, how we how we set up the tap So right here, I have a drill bit. This is a 5 16 inch drill bit. Um, it's, and then I've marked it with tape one inch long. Now I posted a picture on, uh, on social media showing, uh, asking you guys what, uh, what this is. Now you know, um, I was taping and marking my drill bit for tapping this tree. So you mark it one inch long so that you know exactly how deep to go. And you want to go at a slightly upward angle, so all the way to the tape here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let's just do this here, crossing our fingers. Okay, so that's our tap right there. And, um, and that's basically it. Now we, all we have to do is that we drill our hole. We get our tap, and you take the smooth end right here and put it in here. And then you take a hammer. You don't do it too hard. There you go. And once it once once the hammer kind of starts bouncing back, you're you're set. That's a cool little uh little maple leaf on this set but um and i'll post the link at, uh, to amazon down below uh so that you can know where you can get one of these two um now all you do is you hook up so actually i should probably do this beforehand Let's see if i can pull this out without breaking it that's one reason you don't want to tap too hard because you want to be able to pull it out afterwards. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect. Whoops. Ow. Right, doing this up close. So you can't see when things fall. That's what. on here 
Careful, Alex. Don't don't bump the tripod. There you go. Got my buddy Alex here helping me out. Get that on nice and tight here. Okay, now I'm just gonna put it in like that there. As you can see, there's not a lot of sap coming out right now because I think it's a little bit too warm. But um, make no mistake, it's when it cools off again, that sap will be flowing. All right. And now we take our gallon container and I just slip it in here. And what I want to do is kind of just hang it, or uh, I've got to figure out a solution here, but um, uh, somehow I've got to hang it down below so that it, it comes comes out. But uh, anyway, um, that's basically it. You just hit it in, and, uh, and you're done. So um, I'll do this probably on all three branches. I've got to find a container for each one of them, but uh, um, that's it. All right, so there you have it. Um, we've got our, our our hole drilled. We've got our uh, tap in, um, and then I just put it in the gallon milk jug like this. You can put it in a five gallon bucket too if you have some longer um, cables and secure it somehow. That's what I got to figure out next, and uh, and we're done. You've got a nice um, maple tap, uh, and. Hopefully in the end we'll have some uh, some good uh, maple sap coming in here and we'll make some maple syrup out of it. I'll show you how to do that later. Anyway, this is Jesse Stay with hashtag Geek Greens.